Today is November 13th, 2021. Hi, my name's Bill, a.k.a. Billy Goat. I was going through some, some footage uh, videos that, uh, that we took over the summer, and I came across this video here uh, of a property uh, that we maintained, and, and I wanted to uh, make a, a video on, on our Toro Time Masters. Now, prior uh, to uh, switching back to Toro Time Masters uh, last year, I previously uh, was running with the uh, Craftsman Pro Series 28s, and um, I used those from uh, 2016 to uh, midsummer of, uh, of last year of 2020, and um, it was uh, last summer. Um, of 2020 that I decided to um, you know look into getting another uh, time master I didn't want to get a brand new one I, I ended up uh, finding uh, the mower that I use uh, on uh, Facebook for five hundred and fifty dollars I'm not sure how many uh, hours that were on it originally but since I've had it I've put uh, three hundred and twenty five hours on it and um, you see my wife Michelle going across there. She's uh, she's got a brand new, or had a had a brand new uh, mower that we purchased back in uh, June of uh, 2021. And uh, she's been running that mower uh, all summer, and uh, she's put uh, 200 hours uh, on her mower. Now combine, uh, that's you know over 500 hours that that we've put on these mowers, uh, you know, in just over a, a year's time, and and it's uh, that's been, you know, phenomenal uh, for you know, you know, for a residential mower, and uh, you know we I'm just continued to uh, be impressed on the on the quality and, and how efficient uh, these mowers can be. Now on this property here, um, it's actually a, a half acre property uh, that we maintain and what we need to do is a day or two before um, we mow this property, we need to um, you know, notify the, the customer um, and the reason why is that they, they have um, uh, two or three uh, trailers uh, that they park uh, you know, on their uh, driveway. Um, and and in before and after the, the gates uh, that lead into the uh, backyard and they need to uh, either move um, you know one or two trailers or you know move them to the side so I can get my my skag into the backyard to you know to mow it and uh, what happens sometimes um, you know they don't uh, you know get the um, email and we show up and um, you know the trailers uh, you know weren't moved and and you know I hate to uh, you know have to come back you know at a later time you know get with the customer and, and you know have them uh, move the trailer so uh, there are times uh, that uh, we can get the time masters into the backyard uh, we can squeeze those uh, between the uh, trailer and the gates um, but we, we can get them in the backyard but you know you were you know we're talking about uh, cutting um, you know roughly a, a quarter acre um, you know if it's a half acre I mean it, you know this back part of the property is uh, probably uh, not quite a quarter but um, you know it's like a field section I mean it's at least of an eighth acre uh, back there and um, I usually uh, mow it with the uh, skag and I typically cross cut it as well and, and the reason why is because it, it does get a little thick um, back there and also um, you know when you, when you do cut it it, it has uh, you know, it's a weeded um, you know yard so it does have uh, stragglers um, in the uh, you know as we mow it so I prefer just to cross cut it to you know just to give it a cleaner cut and um, if you know my wife she doesn't like to uh, you know cross cut uh, if she doesn't have to so and in plus two I don't want her to um, have to push mow uh, you know 
a large uh, property like this you know by ourselves so what I'll do is uh, once I finish uh, trimming out the property I'll uh, get my my mower and I'll, I'll help her uh, you know finish up the back part of the property here and uh, that's that's the reason I'm uh, wanting to you know show you uh, these two mowers that uh, you know in action here you know this is real time that we can cut this uh, back portion of the property in, in less than 10 minutes and you know I'm not just a single pass we're actually cross cutting so um, it's amazing that that you know we can you know knock this out uh, you know this back portion of the property within 10 minutes and uh, you know we, we pretty much finished the whole property uh, you know in within an hour and uh, you know this is a seventy dollar uh, you know yard that that we charge and uh, you know I've just been amazed of you know how efficient these two mowers are and and you know when you do the math I mean the, as far as uh, you know profit levels you know of course yeah it might take a little longer um, to mow it because you know we're using push mowers but you know the at the end of the day you know it, it's about um, you know your overhead you know and your expenses and you know the cost of uh, running these uh, time masters versus uh, you know the bigger mowers and you know when you have the bigger mowers you have to you know have the bigger trucks and the bigger trailers and you know and these 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 mowers here you know they fit in the back of a pickup truck so you know it, it they're uh, you know they're they're fairly light you know they're not you know you know super heavy um, I believe they're around 150 pounds I mean I don't recommend uh, you know picking them up but you know you can definitely easy get them you know up you know up on the back of a pickup truck with uh, you know with ramps yeah, it looks like this, uh, you know, video is uh, coming to an end here, and uh, I guess we'll, uh, you know, wrap it up. If anyone has any, uh, you know, questions, just you know, leave them in the comments, and uh, you know, I'll answer them for you if I can, or I'll, uh, you know, make another video. And I'll also will be, you know, over the course of the winter, um, I'll be making some more uh, videos, um, you know, editing uh, more videos for, you know, on the Time Master and. You know some of the things that you know I'm working on, and and uh, you know the our plans for for next year if we're uh, you know going to upgrade um, you know to a commercial version, you know the Turf Master, or even you know look into the uh, Skag 30. Um, I don't know. You know we we still have our um, you know our Ferris uh, FW15, uh, the 32 inch deck as well. So. You know, we might utilize that, you know, a little more, um, you know, next year um, as well. But, uh, you know, we'll, uh, you know, sort that out over the winter. And, uh, you know, we'll, you know, get our, our setup, uh, you know, ready uh, early next spring. And then hopefully we'll, you know, have a good summer and, uh, you know, make, uh, make a lot of money. So until then, um, you know, I'll see you in the next video. See you later.